Welcome to another online movement break. Thanks for coming. Uh, today we're seated. And as always, moving at your pace. The goal of these classes is to open up your body, to feel good, to bring some oxygenated blood to all these places in your body that might have been stagnant either from working or from sleeping. So first things first, let's take a couple of big deep breaths here. And as I take my deep breaths, I want you to imagine you're filling all of the space in your torso. And when you exhale, let all of it go. I'm going to put my hands on my thighs and do at least three big breaths and then we'll find each other here. So inhaling. Oh, and exhaling. And as fast or as slow as you need to go, no passing out. Oh. Here's my last one. Oh, good. And just double checking, I am seated towards the edge of my chair, looking for my sit bones to be in contact with the chair. And hopefully that will raise my spine a little bit. I still have my three natural curves in my spine, so I'm not slouched. So just notice how you're seated. My feet are firmly planted on the floor, a little bit of width between my legs, not too wide. So good. Let's begin with some gentle movement of my shoulders. So I'm going to send my shoulders in circles, <sighs> keep breathing, and noticing the weight of my hands at the other end of my shoulders. <sighs> so see if you can find some pleasure in this movement. And this can be as big or as small as you need to make it today. <sighs> But I am looking for circular movement. I'm looking for your breath to keep working with you, not against you. And I'm looking for the weight of your hands in opposition to the circle. So a few more circles in this direction. And I'm gonna do two more in this direction, front, to back, ah. and I'm going to do one last circle because that feels good today. One last circle and then bring that to a pause. Ah. And right away I'm going to start with a little wave of my spine. So I'm going to turn sideways to show you. So starting as if the whole body were to pitch forward. And then right from my lower spine, I'm going to bring my spine back. Ooh. So pitching forward, head to tail, and right from in between my pubic bone and my belly button, I'm just going to pull myself back up. So I'm going to do this a few times. My feet are firmly planted on the ground, and that and they're helping with this action. So nice and gentle wave of your spine. So sending the spine forward and then an action as if you were pulling, your lower back was pulling you back up. So two more times, little wave of the spine. Keeping your breath going. And let's just do one more. Good. So now I'm going to send my shoulders 
moving in the opposite circle. So from back to front. Oh. And there might be some snap, crack, or pop, the wrist for me today. So be gentle. It's not supposed to be painful. Just think of it as opening up the spaces in your shoulder, in your back, your scapula are moving along their course. They have this lovely movement coming together and then separating. So see if you can find some joy in that. <sighs> Keep your breath moving. <sighs> Good, two more circles in this direction. Good, let's bring that to a pause. Ooh. Yeah. Let's do some side bending, yeah, exactly. So the weight of my hands is gonna be the helper here. So I'm gonna let the weight of one hand slowly bring my torso to the side. Keeping my sit bones firmly planted in the chair. And then the hand of the other arm brings me in the other direction. And my head definitely goes with, trying not to pull too far over. I don't want you to fly out of the chair. That's where I want you to really anchor your sit bone. And I'm inhaling uh, and then exhaling as I get to the curve. Inhaling in the middle. <sighs> and exhaling as I curve. Let's continue a few more times, feeling the weight of your hands and your breath. Not to pass out. You can regulate, self-regulate if you need to. You can breathe out your mouth, a little exhale out your lips. That might help as well. Ah, gentle movement. Feel the joy in those side bends. Good. Let's bring that to a pause. Good. Oh. I'm going to take my head today. I'm going to take my eyes and my nose and I'm going to look over one of my shoulders as far as I can go. When I can't go anymore, see if you want to open your shoulder just a little bit. I take the whole torso with me. So it's a baby spiral, but initiated differently than when we initiate from the bottom. So this one doesn't go very far. I just take my head. Both of my shoulders join my head. Ooh, and then bring my eyes and my face with me back to the other side. So nothing happens in my pelvis right now. Well, that's not entirely true. There's very little happening in your pelvis right now. So your pelvic bones, your pubic bones are, your pubic bones, your sit bones are anchored into the chair. And I'm just taking my vision and my shoulders go for a gentle ride. Ah, my ribs are going for that ride as well. Moving from side to side. Ooh. Few more times. Noticing if your ribs are preceding you. So I really want your, your face, your eyes, and your head to be the leader here and not your ribs. Ah. So two more times. Let's finish off this movement equally. Oops. That was me and my ribs on to precede me. So trying to keep those ribs calm. Pretty small movement. And let's bring it back to the center. Ooh. Good. Just noticing the spine's moved in all these different planes already. 
And let's wake up our feet now. So I'm going to raise my heels and lower my heels. So raising my heels and lowering my heels and nothing else is happening. So up and down, I'm doing both at the same time. My heels come up and they go down. The key here is making sure that your ankles aren't moving either in or out. So if they are, you just make it a smaller movement. I'm not really trying to jam into my forefoot. I'm just thinking of this again, just like every other movement we do. It's just a gentle opening. So I'm creating some mobility already in that ankle. Focusing still on my alignment, making sure that the ankle isn't moving in either direction. So that's all good things to notice. A few more times, see if they can both go at the same time. Sometimes that's part of the trick of this. One wants to go faster or slower than the other one. That's okay too. See if they can go at the same time. And then I'm going to do two more. And then I'm going to bring that to a pause. Good. So moving my legs a bit, I'm going to stretch one leg out. I'm going to raise it not too far and then bring it back in like a reverse bicycle. Leg goes long, bring that leg up whoop, and in. Try not to change anything in your torso. You should feel it pretty much in your legs. I'm using my standing leg to help support that action. The action of that leg lifting. So one leg goes out, and right in this moment, my standing leg helps raise my other leg. So reaching, push, and in. And I'm articulating my foot a bit. And you can or choose to or not. It helps me think of the bicycle action. It keeps me from accidentally putting my foot down in an awkward position. <laughs> So a few more times, thinking about how each side helps the other. So one side, this is what we're looking at, the bicycle leg, but my other side is helping it out. So reaching long up and in. And again, it's not very high. Good, yeah. And nothing moves in my torso. You might feel a little bit of tension in your lower belly. That's that's what's supposed to happen. You probably feel your quads a little bit. That's good. Two more times in this direction, a little bicycle action. And this is my last one. Good, so now we're gonna reverse the direction. So I'm gonna go pick up my knee, stretch it out long, and then almost like, now this reminds me of like a horse. Up and out and down, long. In and up and out and Ah, and in. Thank you. One side. So pushing my standing leg in, raising my knee out and in. So a few more times. Up and out, down and in. Up and out, down and in. Keep breathing. Up and out, down and in. So right in the moment that I know I'm going to raise my knee, I'm going to really imagine that this knee is moving down into the floor. That's really going to help this action. So a few more times, up and out and in. Up and out and in. Two more times, up and out and in, up and out. And then bring that to a close. Good. So we haven't done our flash dance move in a while. So <laughs> let's bring that back. So I'm going to open my legs only as wide as you can. I'm going to raise my sternum very little bit on a diagonal. So my eyes go with me, and then I'm going to close it into a little ball. So opening. 
Inhaling and then closing. And I'm going to do it from the side as well. So opening and noticing my sternum on the diagonal and then closing. And again, that same feeling in my in my center gut, in my between my pubic bone and my belly button, is what's helping me come back in. And and I take my head with me when I close. When I close up, my head comes to. And I'm using my hands to help me with this action. So my hands are going with my knees, and then on the outside of my knees. So let's do at least two more of these. Open ah, and close. Remember, breathing not to pass out, but just to keep things going, if it helps you. <sighs> Good, one last time. Inhaling, oh, and a little friend shell closes back up. And then I'm gonna bring my torso back up. And I'm gonna... My knees are now together, probably, from just having closed. My flash dance move up, my little friend shall move. Ah, so I'm just going to notice that that has a very definite feeling, mermaid tail feeling. Ah, really good. I'm going to keep my mermaid tail today, my legs together as much as I can. If things are feeling a little awkward, of course you can separate. But I want that feeling of like, that this is almost like you have a zipper here that's bringing your two legs together. My sit bones are still on the chair and I feel like they're in a different place, but they're still on the chair. And now from here, let's take our hand stretches. So I'm gonna interlace my fingers and I'm gonna reach my fingers away from me and my thumbs pointed towards the floor. Woo. Keeping my shoulders down as much as possible, my ribs inside my body, making sure my ribs are not out ahead of me. <sighs> and breathe here a few moments. Finger and knuckles. My knuckles are really moving away from my away from me, away from my body towards the camera. My thumbs are pointing down. Another big inhale. Feel how expansive your back might feel from this action. And let's let that go, shake that out. I'm gonna keep my mermaid tail, and I'm gonna, my mermaid legs, and I'm gonna interlace the opposite fingers, the uncomfortable fingers inside here. And now you're gonna reach those knuckles towards the camera away from you and your thumbs are pointing down. So feel that just for a moment. Ah, and I'm gonna raise that shape up, but keeping my ribs down so it doesn't go very far. Exhaling, and now I'm gonna bring that shape back down. My thumbs can initiate that shape. And I'm going to take that shape back up again, shoulders down, ribs down. When you exhale, maybe think about how that all connects. Your tail connects to your sternum, right in the middle of your body. And let's bring that shape down. Keep this stretch moving. Thumbs keep moving down. Let's do this two more times. Raising the shape. Ribs are down. If you're feeling stressed, maybe think about your legs. Think about that line, that zipper being zipped up a little bit tighter. And one last time, up and down, you got this. I'm going to think about my zipper right now as opposed to thinking about my arms. So I'm going to think about my legs and bring that back down. Good. And let's let that go. Woo Good. Shaking out my wrists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whew. good. A little grabbing and letting go just to kind of see how that's sending blood again. 
back to those fingers in a different way. Good. So I'm gonna go back to our spiraling. I'm gonna separate my legs again. Oh, and now I'm gonna take a spiral from my pelvis. So moving my femur back, sends one femur forward, and the rest of my spine is gonna follow. So this will be a little bit deeper than the ones we did before. And then one femur moves forward, and then they to come back, and then the other femur moves back. My spine follows, my eyes follow, my head follows. Oh, and then I come back from the femur. Femur starts me. So starting from the femur, the femur takes my spine, my spine takes my head, I take my eyes. And then we come back from the femur, not from the head, from the femur, coming back to the front and then keep your vision going, but start from your femur. Uh -huh. Femur moves me back, taking my spine and then my eyes, and then we come back. We're gonna do this at least two more times, noticing your femur, keeping your knees, going in line with your lower leg. Keep breathing. <sighs> and returning. There might be a little bit of crunching, a little bit of popping. Hopefully not crunching. I realize that that's probably not a good word. A little popping, a little air moving into the spine. <sighs> good, two more times, one for each side. And just notice you might have one side that's a little tighter than the other today. I do. And bring it back. And my last time, femur initiates, my spine follows, my ribs are calm, my head goes, my eyes catch up and look beyond. And then from the femur, my femur moves forward, bringing me back to center. Really good, really good. Ooh, nice. So, I feel like some rib circles. <sighs> Feels like the right thing to do now. So, why don't we just do that? So I'm gonna put my hands on my ribs so you can kind of see where they are. And I'm just gonna take my ribs for a ride and you notice how it also has an effect in your pelvis. So just kind of noticing that. But it is my ribs doing the work. So my ribs go back and to the side and to the front and to the side. And you might notice that there's one spot that's a little tight. So you might slow down and breathing. <sighs> Try not to let your shoulders go up by your ears because mine like to do that. So <sighs> a few more times in this direction. <sighs> Give yourself a belly massage too, if you notice. Yeah. Good, one last time, this side circle, and we're gonna go the other way, woo! Inhaling, sending it the other way. It might be the sticky side, and that's okay. Noticing how your pelvis, your, your sit bones go along for the ride. Try not to shrink in the sides, but just keeping the ribs moving one way or the other. Ah. Opening up the spaces in the back and the front. Your spine is getting a little massage as well. Feet are firmly planted in the floor. Ah. A few more times. Ah. Trying to hit all of those edges of that circle. One last time. <sighs> Good, let's let that go. Woo! Nicely done, nicely done. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Good. Yeah, my belly feels warm. I noticed that, and you notice that too. A little bit of warmth, a little bit of heat coming in there. So let's do opposite arm, opposite leg. That's gonna warm up the rest of that belly. So opposite arm, opposite leg, give it a little rise. 
<sighs> not about the height, but noticing, <sighs> noticing my sit bones and noticing that I'm really creasing my thigh into its socket. So I'm going to move sideways and just keep going. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So the thigh really creases in its place, which is what I'm looking for. Opposite arm, opposite leg, which is always good for our brain. Ah. Good. A few more times. My arm doesn't go behind me. My ribs are pretty calm. Try not to send your ribs with your arms. That gets into something else. <laughs> so calm and calm. Opposite arm, opposite leg, a few more times. Thinking about the crease of that thigh bone and bringing the thigh bone closer to my belly. That's what I'm thinking about. Good, let's go same arm, same leg. Ooh, so same idea, just a different brain pathway, good for the brain. And so bringing that femur closer to the belly, but not bringing the belly close to the femur, right? So everything stays tall on the sit bones. A few more times. We really activated that lower area. Good. Um, keep breathing. And two more. Move yourselves out and let's bring that to a pause. Good. Good. <sighs> nice. Good. So we'd love to do our little a little um, stretch, kind of like our mini lunge. So I'm going to move to the side of my, I'm just going to flip my legs to the side of the chair. And pretty much I have one cheek on and maybe half of a cheek <laughs> of the leg that's down. I have my other arm holding onto the back of the chair. Strong standing leg. This leg is really going to help me out. I have my toes curled under. And even if this, this might be enough today. So um, really letting this femur hang towards the floor. Oh, if you need a little bit more, you can start moving, switching that leg, that long leg, a little farther back. But I really encourage you to notice the ankle, making sure that the ankle didn't decide on a new path for that lower leg. Ah, good, keep breathing here, and then we're going to take our arm with us. So the arm <clears throat> of the leg that's down is going to paint the wall. So it's going to start on the floor, and it's going to paint up the wall <clears throat> until you get to the ceiling, but not too far back. So my eyes go up, and then I'm going to paint it back down. So it comes back down. So what I'm looking for here is that your hand really helps to reach. So if you could reach the opposite wall and then the sky, and you just feel a little bit of a deeper stretch in that thigh, and we're going to do one last time. So reaching with your hand, really feel the extremity. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Last time, reach the sky. Oh, and come back down. Oh, nice work. Let's bring that leg in. Woo, and we're going to go to the other side. So, changing sides. As we all know, each side feels different. Finding that sweet spot on the chair. Back arm is holding on to the back of the chair. This leg is down. Side arm is directly down. What I'm calling my standing leg is the one with the, the whole foot, the whole sole of the foot on the floor. Checking that back, that ankle, making sure that ankle isn't in one direction or the other, in or out. It's pretty much in line with the rest of the lower leg. If you need a little more stretch, just send it back. <sighs> Femur's directly down. Oh, keep breathing. So that's a little bit of a balancing act, right? So is there too much weight going to the outside leg? 
So where can I find that? Can I anchor my sit bone of the standing leg, the bent knee with the foot on the floor leg? Can I anchor that sit bone more? Can I anchor my pubic bone down towards the floor to help me more? Ah, good, and that's paint the wall. So really reaching my hand, my fingers are alive, reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhaling, oh, and painting the wall back down. Inhaling and really reaching those fingers as if you could reach the wall, as if you could reach the ceiling. Ah. Try not to squish anything, just keep thinking length and openness. One last reach. Big deep breath in, follow with your eyes. I reach the ceiling. Oh, I'm coming back down. Nicely done. Let's bring this leg back in. Whew. Come back to the front. Whew. Nice work. So let's close this session out with my favorites. I'm going to reach up to the sky, really reaching my fingertips. My sit bones are still in the chair. I'm going to cross my body with an exhale. Not to pass out. Regulate your own breathing. Really reach your fingertips to the sides, up towards the ceiling, and cross your body. Notice your ribs going down as you do so. Two more times, reaching. Bringing everything back in. Good. And last time, mm, bringing it all in. All my desires, my dreams, my hopes. Huh. <laughs> Calling them into me. Good. Let's let the arms relax by your side a moment. Mm. Notice how that feels. Good. And one last thing. Let's do our little elbow shakes. So crossing my arms, putting my hands on top of my shoulders. Oh, and let the weight of your arms, your hands, really let the weight be there. Like let it be present. You're not trying to hold your arms up here. My two elbows, can't see them. I'm going to you today, but my two elbows are trying to touch. If they don't touch, it doesn't matter. Always reaching for something, right? They touch, they touch. Good. Let's give those elbows a little jiggle. Oh, so the elbows are just bouncing a little bit up and down as if they can shake some excess if we were sand, if we were made of sand, that you could shake some excess sand down to your feet. <laughs> Keep breathing during the jiggle. <sighs> sound like that, a little reverberation. Yeah, just a little bit more jiggling. Good, and let's let that go. Hands down by your side or on your thighs. Good, and just notice again how you feel. Regulate your breathing. Good. It's good. So thank you for another awesome alignment movement break. I just called it alignment movement break, but you get it.